hello guys welcome back once again to my channel um today i'm going to do a requested a reading for the relationship or bond between uh icon members and bi which is a former member of the of icon uh, actually he, i believe he was uh, the leader also so uh, let's talk about uh, the relationship. How is it today, and how they they view each other uh, with the different circumstances? So I placed um, the icon members. I placed them on the left. So and they got the card of the lovers, the temperance, and the ace of pentacles. So definitely they are in in a place right now where <clears throat> they had gone through a lot of debates or a, a lot of like negotiations or kind of ex exchanges of opinions with other people. Probably I think that it, it must be people from the company or people that represent them that actually like advise them or probably like they were trying to convince them to probably not talk to B.I. or not uh, not mention him or at least when they were together to not bring his name up or just trying to act like he never existed or that he never was part of the group. Um, but I think that uh, at the beginning, I think they agreed because uh, they were pressured to do it. Um, and they were feeling also very confused um, by by the way uh, BI uh, left the group. Uh, I don't know the reasons, um, but uh, I have the feeling that he had a very personal reasons. Uh, you know, I, I have had talk about his energy in other reading that I did for him, that I think he, he is a Libra sun with the moon in Pisces. Uh, so he always was hypersensitive about uh, everything that was going on with his life. So probably if he made the decision to leave the group, probably he had um, very deep reasons that he couldn't quite explain. Uh, but they were really close to his heart and... Uh, probably he needed to be a way to heal himself or heal, heal or resolve his own issues. So, but at the same time, I think that for a for a long time it left the group a bit like with the feeling of abandonment, with a feeling of because I think that they they had always worked so hard to to keep on working and to keep on improving themselves and to keep on like uh, standing against all odds. So I think that his his decision, even though they respected it and they respect him, they it, it left them in a place of vulnerability, in a place where they also didn't know how they would come out of that or how they would be able to overcome this without him. Um, so I think that they did, but, um, the first feeling about his, him leaving was of confusion. And I think that these people that were almost like brainwashing them, like, uh, like trying to, to convince them that they had to forget about BI actually, and not mention him, not include him to, to, Cut, to cut all connections, to not talk to him, to not reach to him. And I think that they they stayed away for a while because they thought that it would be like a, a better process for them to actually uh, pick up the pieces of, of what was left of the group. Um, because like I always say, whenever, um, whenever a member is missing or whenever a member leaves or where something happens, the group is left with a lot of um, mixed emotions and mixed feelings and thoughts. So it's not easy for the remaining members. I know that probably 
everyone thinks that because uh, probably the members that stayed are majority, it doesn't mean that they struggle with their own identity and with their own insecurities and with the question of what now, you know, what to do, especially when, when the one that lives, it's, it was like a, a leader or like someone that you respected or someone that you admired and someone that you used to spend a lot of time with and that you used to like uh, listen to him and now he's he's not there so I think that they had to rebuild themselves uh, and I think that they did it very well but it didn't uh, it didn't prevent from that um, um, from that situation to be traumatic for them so I think that they went through a lot of healing in that moment and then now they are in a place where actually they are valuing a lot this experience and they are valuing um, and they are understanding and they are healing a lot more they are feeling a bit more independent they are being they are able today to see things from a different perspective they also had been able to probably to be able to have some kind of repairs where actually they are starting to to become a stronger and more stable their members that remain in icon and i think that this stability is what is allowing them to get closer to bi again and to be able to reach out to him and i think that also from what i can see from bi's point of view he's also more stable now so i think that they are probably more in contact because of this uh, but i believe that if they did stay in touch they had probably to do it in secret because I see a lot of people from the company actually not wanting uh, the boys to talk to BI or to even mention BI they they had like they almost had like this strategy of picture him like the bad guy you know like uh, because of this abandonment issue you know because of this oh let's blame the one who left as the bad guy because look what he done look what he did to all of you you know so this this story this this narration this narrative actually helped help them for a while or it was use useful for a while to to help the boys to to, to maintain them in a place where they just wouldn't talk to bi or actually would be really afraid to talk about bi because they would know that the company wouldn't be happy with it. And they were also really fearful in their place because they were really, they didn't want to disband, they didn't want to lose everything. So they were also in a place of a lot of fear. So probably if they followed at first, if they followed the company rules and stay away from AI, yeah, it's because they didn't want to be, uh, they didn't want to lose more than what's already lost for them. In the case of BI, we have the Wheel of Fortune, the Hierophant, and the Page of Wands. So definitely BI is entering a new cycle. He's feeling really lucky. Um, is there a possibility that BI has his own agency or his own company or that he's starting like a new business? Because with the Hierophant, I see a very uh, prosperous uh, new uh partnership like but like in institution not just like does he own a label or something like that because i see him like feeling really passionate about it and actually seeing like finally things are starting to move uh, faster for him and he's starting to feel a bit lucky i think that he also had been going through moments of stagnation where he he wanted to move on or he wanted to create a lot of things but suddenly he was feeling stuck or he actually couldn't he couldn't um, get the permissions that he needed he couldn't get the support that he needed you know for him it was also um, it was really hard to prove that he was a professional or that he had what it take to actually be considered like to be an artist, an independent artist, because, you know, the fact that he left and, and, and everything, I think that also there were people 
like in in the industry that actually knew about his problem i think he had a, a tendency of actually being very evasive this is very moon in pisces to be very evasive of reality and that actually he wasn't very healthy his lifestyle wasn't very healthy he often made very erratic decisions that affected his performances and affected a lot of his relationships because he didn't have like a a good image actually he was like acting a bit weird so people were actually a bit apprehensive about him or about giving him a chance because he for a while he was acting uh a bit like a person that had lost his mind like he had some kind of mental issue um but this is because of all his nervousness i believe that he's very nervous person and that somehow he couldn't he couldn't deal with so much pressure he had so much pressure on his shoulder i don't know why uh but he was a leader of course but i think that for him always um he had always been living in the edge because i think that he is a genius definitely he has the talent but there's something about him not being able to um to find the right balance between um how genius he is or how creative he is and the reality I think he was uh and also there was a lot of pain behind him. I think that he had a very sad story, I don't know why, but I think that he had a lot of demons inside of him, a lot of uh a, a lot of fears and insecurities that um that sometimes they would go away, but sometimes they would come back. So uh he wasn't very stable mentally actually um but now i see him like moving on and i see him being really passionate about it i think that everything that he is going to deliver from now on is going to be very passionate is going to be very brave i think that he's going to start feeling brave to start feeling courageous to feel the courage to show himself to show himself with all his sides with all his different sides and all his um all his uh his story and everything that he went through that uh, are part of himself and are part of the strengths that he has right now is everything that he went through um and the cards that came out as an overall for them uh it has uh, the six of wands the 10 of cups and the ace of swords so you know that the six of of wands it's it's a it's a it's a it's a card that talks about victory and with the 10 of cups i think that they are being able lately to get closer and to actually start like seeing each other like a family again there's a lot of the 10 of of the 10 of cups it's a really beautiful it's a really beautiful card it it talks about being with your loved ones and actually feeling fulfilled and feeling feeling joyful and feeling happy because you you are prosperous and you are abundant because you are surrounded by your family by by people that you love by people that you care and that you can share your success surrounded by that people so i think that they they definitely are feeling really good about themselves about each other they're feeling really proud and at the same time they are sharing more emotional i think they have a very strong emotional bond and now with the ace of the last card that it's the ace of swords it's a new beginning it's a new it's a new opportunity for them to talk about things and probably i don't know maybe to write something and to create something that has to do with words or has to do with confessions because i think that they definitely deserve to have this kind of heart to heart conversations i think that they definitely need to put into words a lot of things uh, a lot of everything and i think that it's important that all of them do the seven of them um 
And the last card that I pull out from the Oracle of the, uh, Oracle of the Chakras is the card of creation. So I think that this healing in the in the relationship and this this bond, this strong bond that they are sharing today, it's possible because the both sides are involved in the process of creation. I think that uh, Icon also had a comeback uh, uh, and they participated kingdom. So it's like they were brought back to life uh, in the sense that they they started to feel the rush and the passion and the and, and the real thrill of why they are artists i think that they they are more uh they are happier now they are like and and it's like it's like a very strong force and 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 hunger it's waking up inside of them because it's like they were um for a very long time they were a bit like um um, distance from the scene and now that they were uh, uh, they were performing and they were working and they were like um, like uh, having uh, also a lot of publicity and exposure I think they connected with the real passion inside of them and when it comes to B.I. I I think he had done the same on his own he had uh, started to to show to deliver his his own uh, creation, so I think that the word and the the, <clears throat> the fact that both parties are creating in in their own uh, from their own uh, sides and from their own experiences, I think that this is what is allowing them to build and rebuild this relationship again, because they are creating because they are. They are focusing. They are they are spending their energies into something that they love. So I think <clears throat> that is this love for creation, and is this love for the craft and this love for being an artist that actually is bringing is opening up, uh, like a new chapter in the relationship and 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 their bond to be, uh, tighter and to be more, um, to be more more like with no restrictions like like let's talk about what we have to talk let's put the effort to make things work with be between us and also let's make our relationship work for each other not for what other people want us to uh, to to act or to behave a certain way they they just uh, turn their back on their people that were advising them to stay away from the eye and they they are like like going for going toward him with actually with feeling uh, really proud so i have the perception that they eventually will build like a more secure emotional uh, base on this um on this relationship uh even as, as time passes i think that they are there are a lot of feelings involved in here you know that um i'm always really honest about what i see and uh, when I don't see feelings, you know that I always mention this and I always uh, try to express it the way I view it. Uh, but in this case, I see a, f a very family, uh, a very family uh, kind of vibe. It's like, it's like feeling that when you are together, you are meant to be together. It's like no matter how much time they spent apart or their circumstances, why they were apart or all the people getting in the way and all the people trying to manipulate um, their their perceptions of each other. I think that they, they value each other a lot. And I think that... Um, there's no sense of betrayal. There's no hard feelings here. There's no heartbreak. There's no, at least not anymore. So I think that they, they will be in a very a good place. And I think that they had been in a, in, in a good place, like just trying not to let everyone know that probably they were like contacting each other because I think that for them to be in this 10 of cups, they definitely had to work prior to build this so i think that probably they had been in secret meeting each other or talking to each other so they were able to to have this this kind of uh, very very emotional 
like realization about how valuable is the relationship and the bond um so this is all i have for icon members and bi so if you do enjoy it please give it a like and if you want to share it with some iconics that would like to to hear this uh this interpretation of mine and that are also interested interested in tarot of course i would appreciate so i will see you guys in the next video bye